Now you go to Spencer Clifford. It's time to practice the spending multiplier. Okay, take a look at this graph. Does it have a recessionary gap or inflationary gap? Okay, it's a recessionary gap, right? The current output is 60 billion. Where we want to be is 100 billion. 40 billion difference between where we want to be and where we actually are. If the marginal productivity to consume is 0.5, I want you to tell me how much the government changed spending to close that gap of 40 billion. And then if the marginal price to consume is 0.8, how much do they change the government spending? Here's what we're trying to do. Increasing government spending would shift aggregate demand to the right, closing the gap. The question is how much spending? Use the multiplier. All right, give you some time. All right, you got it? All right, let's first calculate the spending multiplier. The spending multiplier, as you know, is 1 over the marginal propensity to save. So 1 over, in this case, 0.5. So it's 1 over 1 half, and that is 2. The spending multiplier is 2, but that's not the answer. The question is, if the government spends and it gets multiplied times 2, whatever that amount is, it gets multiplied times 2, it needs to close the gap. Well, the gap's 40, and so the answer is $20 billion. $20 billion times 2 would close that gap of $40 billion. All right, let's try this one. Right? It's 1 over 0.2, because that's the spending multiplier, which is 1 over 1 fifth, which is 5. The multiplier is 5. How much do we need to spend to close the gap? Right? We need to spend $8 billion. You spend $8 billion, right? that's multiplied times 5, and that closed a $40 billion gap. Look at the logic of it. Okay? If people only spend half of it, we've got to spend a whole lot more than if people spend 80% of it. Right? So if the marginal propensity to consume is higher, that means the amount that we have to spend in government spending to close the gap is going to be a lot less. All right, hopefully that makes sense. Until next time.